Okay, this just in. Uh, Chris and Greg's Bedini motor. We made three uh, upgrades. First of all, we have our old coil. It's got 640 wines. And now we have one that's 800 wines. Everything else is the same except we... Uh, this has 26 and 24 gauge wire. We now have 26 and 22 gauge wire on the new coil. And then also, we had the wrong resistor on our old circuit. So before we had a thousand ohm, and I put on a hundred ohm. A thousand ohm too much. Obviously, it spins faster. And then the final thing we did was hook up the potentiometer the right way. It was backwards before. I don't know if that made much of a difference, but it certainly works better now. So because of that, we can tune it. And I've also found out how to tune it. I've actually read the instructions on what you're supposed to do from the Yahoo group. And we are going to start our experimentations this weekend. We also put in a neon bulb before we just had a regular 12 volt a uh, very small light bulb and the uh, the instructions call for a neon bulb so I got some in the mail and put that on there. Just when you unhook it, there you go. And see when you unhook it from the load it goes on. And also demonstrates the pulse load, uh, the pulse that charges the battery. It doesn't go on, that's not its brightest either, that's not as bright as it gets. Apparently, turning the potentiometer makes it brighter. But we don't want to burn out the transistor, so. And we have a motorcycle battery. It was down to, um, I think it was down to like six volts when we got it. And now it's running at about, it's charged up to about 11. It charged up pretty quick at first, but once it hit 9 volts, it took a long time. It took probably a good 12, 13, 14 hours to get it up to 11. And then it sat for 24 hours, and even now, it went back down to like 10.8, and now it's, it's up to 11.23, so charging very slowly. And this is, this since our first experiment where we ran it on the car, now we have a different source battery. We have, um, actually we have the car, my car battery here. We, we also have another, another battery, almost the same thing, same, same brand. Uh, we bought for 10 bucks for the core charge. Um, and we brought it back and it was at 12 volts. So it was a good battery. But since we've been using, we used it all last weekend, we've drained it a little. So we'll have to put that on the motor and I'm using my car battery now. We'll just swap them out when we need them.